everyone, Tom from Patchworks here, and we're all super excited about this thing. It's the Nifty Keys from Create Audio, a really wonderful Eurorack polyphonic keyboard, and we're going to go through it, play some sounds, and uh, show it off. It's really exciting. So we're very happy to be in front of this thing today. Let's go! <laughs> Hi, I'm Matthew from Patchworks. I'm going to go over some of the features on the Nifty Keys. The Nifty Keys is a 49 key keyboard with aftertouch. It's a 112 HP case, 3U. We have our pitch wheel, and then we have our mod and LFO. There's several different shapes to choose from when it comes to the LFO. Above that, we have our bend range. And then we also have an arpeggiator with an included sequencer in it, which is pretty fun to use. We have our rate, which adjusts the LFO frequency when you're not in arpeggiator mode. To the right of that, we have our range, which is going to determine how many octaves in the arpeggiator. And below that, we have our glide, which sounds great and works really well. And then over here, we have our octave switch. And what's cool about the octave switch is that you can actually change octaves while you're holding notes down. It doesn't need to be reset. Which is a great effect for playing live. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this top row up here. We have four CVs and four gates for making a four note voice polyphony system, which is what we have built here. And I'm gonna talk about that in a moment. And then to the right of that, we have velocity, aftertouch, the mod LFO output, a clock output, reset for that, and expression pedal. Over here we have multiples, so two independent multiples. To the right of that we have two independent inputs, and then a main outs and a headphones out. On the back you're going to find MIDI in and out, and USB MIDI as well. It's also class compliant MIDI, meaning you can use this with your iPhone or iPad to, to play a music app on there. There's also a quarter inch jack for a sustain pedal and your expression pedal. So some of the coolest features on here would have to be the multi-mode arpeggiator and the auto chord. So let me demonstrate what the auto chord does. If I press function, it will engage the secondary function. And now I'm able to use this keyboard and it's laid out right here what the different keys will do. It also comes with this handy key strip, which is going to tell you what these different keys can do. If I select learn now and then play a chord, so I'll play like a D major seven. And now I hit function again. So now I'm done with the function mode. Now I have that major seven shape of the chord and I can transpose it along the keyboard. Pretty cool, right? Now if I want to get out of that mode, I press function again and press off. And there we go. And now we're back. So that's a great feature that you're going to find on your nifty keys. Another feature I want to show you how to use on the Nifty Keys is this sequencer, because it's kind of hidden inside the arpeggiator. So you're going to press that function button, you're going to select sequencer, and now you're going to play in your sequence. So I'll do that D major 7 chord again. And just add an extra note or something, just to make it more obvious for you. And then I'm going to hit that again to leave that, and now engage the arpeggiator.
works great. So now let me tell you a little bit about what we built here to make this a fully functional polyphonic Eurorack system. So to start off, we're using all the CVs and all the gates. We're sending our CV outputs to the Quad Morphing VCO by Synthesis Technology. This is a wavetable oscillator. You can hear it kind of moving through the wavetable as I'm playing because we have a random LFO going into a couple of the oscillators and then we also have the aftertouch going into one of the CV inputs on the oscillator which is moving through the wavetable. We're also using the aftertouch with the filter to open the filter up. We have our four gate outputs going into the quad poly VC ADSR or voltage controlled ADSR by Dofer and those four envelopes are going out to the Tangle Quartet which is a quad VCA, and it has a nice overdrive if you want to overdrive it. And then we have all the voices from the quad morphing VCO running into the quad poly SSI VCF by Dofer. So using a bunch of quad modules from Dofer, because Dofer has some great quad or polyphonic modules available. That's all running into this output, and then we're bringing that into the Strymon Blue Sky to give us some reverb so that we have a nice effect for our keyboard. sounds great and it works really well. So the Nifty Keys also has multiple zones that you can do with the keyboard. So you can have it trigger different oscillators with different zones on your keyboard. And then you can also use this as a MIDI controller with your DAW as you can move through MIDI channels or have different MIDI channel zones as well. Well, I hope you like this demonstration on the Create Audio Nifty Keys. I'll see you next time.